Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I cannot believe that Christmas is only a couple of days away. So I wanted to take a little break from all the Christmas craziness and just sit down and play with makeup with you guys. I really wanted to create like a fun, bold, Christmas inspired look. So thinking about the reds, greens, golds, classic Christmas colors. A couple of weeks ago on my Instagram, I actually posted a green halo eye look and it was actually a close up of a look that I created but didn't film earlier in the year and you guys are like um where's the tutorial so I wanted to create a similar look so a green halo eye I actually have this product it's from Colourpop it's their jelly munch shadow and I've never tried a jelly eyeshadow before but it's this gorgeous gold so I'm very intrigued by this and I really want to try it out in today's video before we get started I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas and a Happy New Year thank you so much for all your love and support in 2018. I honestly like can't even put into words how much it means to me and I'm so excited to make 2019 an even bigger and better year. If you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram which will be a link down below and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So we want to prime the lid to prep for the eyeshadow so I'm taking the P. Louise base in the shade 0 and I'm applying that using the Morphe M224 brush. So we're going to be dipping into the Morphe slash Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking the shade Enchanted on the Morphe M456 brush and I'm going to be using Packing Motions in order to get maximum pigmentation and I'm starting my application on my outer corner and gradually working towards my inner corner. Okay, so I know that I used the Morphe slash James Charles palette in my last two videos, but I mean, it's just so good. I, I can't put it down. So we're going to be using that palette again today, and I'm dipping into the shade Daddy on the same brush, and I'm going to be using the exact same techniques, but applying this just above the previous shade. Now dipping into the shade Social Blade, I'm going to be doing the exact same process. And I know that this can be a little bit tedious, but it's going to help create that gorgeous gradient and faded out blend to the look. Now taking the shade B on the Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to be blending this into the shade Social Blade and up towards my brow. And through this blending process, we've lost a few of those shades, so I'm just going to go back in and re-intensify them. Time to create the cut crease for this halo eye. So I'm taking concealer and I'm creating a new crease because I do have hooded eyes. So if I applied the concealer in my natural crease, we'd have no lid space to work with. So we're going to fake it till we make it and create the appearance of a higher crease. And then taking makeup remover on a cotton tip to remove all the excess shadow underneath that cut crease. So we have a clean canvas to apply the neck shadows. And then just going back in and applying the base. And this is the opportunity to really sharpen up the edge of the cut crease to create a much cleaner look. So I'm now going to work backwards towards the center of my lid. So I'm going to dip back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and take the shade Enchanted. And I'm applying that to my inner and outer corner. And then taking that shade Daddy and Social Blade. I'm also running that shade Enchanted around the top edge of the cut crease to define it. Now it's time to try out this jelly shadow and to the touch it feels like putty and is so pigmented so I was really excited to pop it on my lid using the Morphe M124 brush. As I was blending it towards the inner and outer corner it did start to become a little bit more sheer so I went in with a second layer. I then went in to blend the edges using more of the shade Social Blade. I did notice that as I was blending the edge of this jelly shadow, it kind of blended away some of the pigmentation and I was worried that it was going to kind of flake off my eyes. So I dipped into the Morphe slash Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette and I took the shade Coin and I patted this on my lid to lock it into place. I think if you were applying this jelly shadow straight onto the lid without having to blend it, you wouldn't have this problem. I'm applying Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara before applying some Falsies by Doll Beauty. I want to add a little bit of sparkle to the very center of my lid, so I'm taking the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Gold Goddess. Moving on to the face, and today I really felt like dewy, glowy skin, so to start I'm taking the Milani Prime Light Face Primer using the Sigma F80 Air Flat Kabuki Brush. 
Even though I want dewy skin, I still want a full coverage foundation. So what better foundation to use when you want to cover absolutely everything than the Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation in the shade G40. And I'm going to be applying this using the Morphe sponge. To make my skin look even more glowy, I'm just tapping on a little bit of the Anastasia Liquid Glow in Perla on the very high points of my cheek. That Cover FX foundation has literally covered anything and everything, so I'm going in with a more sheer coverage concealer. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way. To set those liquids, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way, and I do want my skin to look glowy from within, so I don't want to cake on the powder. So I'm taking the Morphe E42 brush, which is a big old fluffy brush, and I'm just lightly tapping the powder into my skin. I'm just warming up my skin using the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rosewood and I'm applying this around the perimeters of my face using the Morphe M527 brush. I'm taking the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso to add some color back to my face. I wanted my skin to almost have that wet look to it. So I'm grabbing the Meraki Cosmetics Loose Highlighter. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this. I actually do have a 10% off code. I don't earn any commission from this. It's just a very kind offer that Meraki Cosmetics has given to my followers. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm stamping the shade Enchanted as close to my waterline as possible using the Morphe M4110 brush. And then to create a more smoky look, I'm dipping back into the shades from the James Charles palette using the Morphe M152 brush. As the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks are eye safe, I'm going to take the shade Crocodile Tears and line up my waterline before adding some mascara to my lower lashes. I'm also highlighting my inner corner with that same Meraki Cosmetics highlight. So I wanted green lips, and I did have that Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Crocodile Tears, but I wanted a lighter and brighter color. So I tried to make my own color by mixing in Jawbreaker and Queen Bee. And when I applied the color that I had made, I realized, mm, that was a mistake. <laughs> So I decided to apply a thin layer of Crocodile Tears over the top, and that was a much better color. Last step is to add some Christmas earrings. Oh my goodness, we are looking so fun and festive. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And again, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I love you all so much, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.